Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and today I'd like to share with you a cute tag that I made. First, I'd like to share with you some of the products that I used to make this tag. I used the Classic Sunflower Collection from Heartfelt Creations, and you may have seen this in a previous video. I just love this paper, and it's perfect for fall. So I used a couple pieces of paper from that, and I also, they had in the back, they have little tags. I used a tag from this as well. And I also received from Cut at Home the Spectrum Noir pencils, and these are in the primary color. They also sell them in Essential, Floral, Marine, and Nature. So these here, they have three different colors, um, a light, medium, and dark of the separate colors that come in this. And let's see here. So if you order the different sets, like this one's the primaries and then this is the essentials, you will not get a duplicate in each of these. So you could own all of these sets and you will not have two of the same one, which I love that idea. I plan on eventually owning all of these at some point because then it's so, your options are, are limitless on what you can color. Um, so I really, I just worked with these for the first time. I've never used these before. And I was really impressed with how easy they were. I was really happy with these. So again, these are the Spectrum Noir Primary Set. I do have a start to finish video on my tag, so I'll play that after this here if, you, if you're interested in seeing this. Um, today I also used, from Heartfelt Creations, I used the Classic Sunflower Set. I used a few flowers from this. And this set goes with the die. Sorry about the glare. It goes with the die and it cuts it out perfectly. So I used both of those today. And I also used the bouquet right here. This was fun to color. And they have a whole selection in their classic sunflower um, at Cut at Home. They have uh, sentiments on some of these. This one down here is the sunflower stem. This is the chick retreat. Sunflower Patch and Summer's Day. Look how cute that is. So this was fun to work with. So here is the tag that I made. On the front here I cut out two separate tags from the Silhouette Cameo. They're in a tag shape if you can see up there. One is a little bit larger than the other but I decided to go ahead. They're, they're meant to, um, the top one to set a little in on the second one but I went ahead and staggered them a little, and on, here's the image that I was showing you. So that was really fun to color. That was really my first time using these markers, and I was really happy with how easy they were to get shading. And I'll practice more with them until, um, you know, I feel I'm, I'm really good at using them, but I really found that they were easy to use. I was impressed with them. And here are the flowers from that stamp set that I showed you I cut out with the die. I cut out some of the little sunflower seeds and added them to the bottom here. I added a few halfback pearls. And here is a tag from that paper collection that I was telling you they had in the back. It says sending you sunshine. I just cut that out from the paper collection. And I added the Tim Holtz vintage photo distressing to the edge of all everything, even the flowers. And then this paper that I had stamped my image on was white so I went ahead and distressed it to make it look like it went a little bit better with these papers so this was super fun if you'd like to see these start to finish then stay tuned there will also be some detailed photos and if you're interested in what the colors that I used to color this that will be on the blog at cut at home along with all the other product information so check out the blog for inspiration and all the product information thanks for watching